Hey YouTube, it's uh, Fluffy Bear here, and I'm bringing you a new series of tutorials on the UDK program, the Unreal Development Kit. It's a game engine that's free from Unreal, and it's pretty awesome, and it's really user friendly for people that are not sure how to use it. But I'm just going to be explaining how to use it today, and what the basic controls are that you need to know to be able to use it. So when you open UK and I'm using the February 2012 version, I think they just came out with a new one, but this is what the one I'm using. They come out with a new one every month, so it's kind of hard to keep up. So this is an older version, but it's pretty much the same in all of them. So the, when you open UK for the first time, it will usually look like this with that background and then this which is called content browser and if you close this to reopen it you go up to this little thing and it has a U in it and when you hover over it, it just says open the content browser there's a shortcut which is control shift F if you want to use that or you can just click up here this controls all of the content within UK and it will give you a place to put all the custom content that you put in it so here you have a bunch of different stuff, little maps and material. Well, this this we'll get into this later. But for now, the basic controls are: if you left click, it just you can move forward and backwards, and left and right. But and then how you control your elevation is if you right click, it you can look up and down, side to side, all around. 360 degrees and the middle mouse wheel if you scroll in and out that's how you that's how you zoom in and out so it's kind of weird controls but I'm pretty sure you, you'll get used to it as well also if you right click and press the W A S D keys you can kind of move around like that and if you scroll in and out it goes faster or slower so that's how you do that. And this is pretty much the basic layout when you open the game. Or the, not the game, but the program. And it comes in with custom lights and um, the clouds that move and everything and floor and box. But if you want to add something else in, you can open up the content browser by clicking up there. And you can just go to there's a whole bunch of things up here called there's animated says material instances material um there's two material instances materials just a bunch of stuff so like let's say you want to place like a, a static mesh which is basically a 3d model that you can place inside the game that will or the game engine that will pretty much bring life to your potential game that you were making so the deco, which is decoration basically, you can click in there and it gives you a whole bunch of stuff that's uh, fine. But UDK game over here, and it goes engine, UDK, and then new packages. These are all different packages, and that's pretty much a folder inside of UDK. So let's click UDK game, and then we're still under deco. So this gives you a whole bunch of pre-made 3D objects that you can use and they're pretty cool and to put one of these into your game in the, into the game engine you can just click on it and drag it onto the surface and so when you minimize this or close it whatever you want there you have a static mesh inside your game and this really just brings life to your game and pretty much you're going to need it in order to create a game See, this is all pre-made stuff, and later on I'll be showing you how to make your own custom meshes. But for now, I'm just going to use this. So, in order, if you go in and play this, which you hit that little play button up there, it's pretty good right now, but, and you can see it and everything, but up in the corner it says lighting needs to be rebuilt. So what that means is, if to exit out of that, just press escape. And what that means is you need to go up to this little light bulb thing that says build lighting the shortcut is control plus shift and plus a colon which 
So no one really gonna use that. You just go up here, build lightning. And when you hit that, it's gonna bring up this. And build BSP, you're gonna all need to check. Build static message meshes, you're probably gonna always need to check. And then pretty much a default how it is, you're gonna want. It. Build quality for right now, you're always gonna want it preview. Production is for when you're actually gonna pack like a uh, package your game and send it out so people can actually play it. But for now we're not gonna use that. So just preview and use light mass. Check that and pretty much just leave it like this and hit OK. Now this screen's gonna pop up and it's gonna say build progress. Well allow access if you're using Windows 7. And then Swarm Agent's gonna be running, which is basically how you control all the shadows and everything in in the UDK. So while that's going, since we only have one object, it shouldn't be taking too long, but the more static meshes you have in the scene, this um, is going to take longer and longer. Like, for instance, some of the games I'm working on right now take up to two hours to build the lighting, so it gets pretty lengthy. It's taking longer just because um, I have the screen capture uh, recording software on right now. So that's just gonna take longer. But usually this would take up to like 15 or second, so seconds. When it's done, it's gonna come up with this. It says a warning. I have, it's uh, built with production lighting, which we specified, so that's fine. So just exit that. And then it has an error. Object has overlapping UVs. That is basically an error within the mesh. And we didn't build the mesh, so we can kind of just leave that alone. But now when we go to play it, it has all the shadows and stuff in it. See, those shadows right there are built, and it just looks more realistic with the lighting. So that's really nice to have, and but it does take time. And you're going to have to rebuild your lighting every time you move or place a new static mesh within the editor. So it is... It has to be done, but it sucks. That is the one downfall of the Unreal kit. But other than that, I think this is a really good program. It's really worth having. So that's pretty much how you play static meshes in UDK. And for right now, I think that's all I'm going to get into for this tutorial. This is the first tutorial of many to come. So, I just stay tuned for more tutorials. I should be making one at least every week. So, if you like this, please just comment, like it, um, and even subscribe to me if you feel like it. So, if you want good tutorials on UDK, just make sure to follow this tutorial set and just have fun with UDK. And I hope I can teach you some stuff with it. So, this is Fluffy Bear and I'm peacing out.